part of the stool warning horn. I'm just about to assemble here. So there's the current state of the wing on Sunday, the 5th of February. We've got that leading edge spar going in. And made a start on the stall warning indicator. A little bit more progress. Okay, Charles, let's build the stall warning horn here. Got some pretty nice directions. Little bits. So we're going to start with this, then we're going to put this screw through here, this screw through here. I guess those are bolts really, aren't they? True. Okay. So. Alright, so what did we just do actually? We drilled out those two holes. We drilled out two holes bigger and we countersunk them. Yeah. So we're going to start with this. Then we are going to flip it around like this. And put one screw through here. We're going to put the second screw right through here. Okay. And we're going to put on How many of those washers? five washers. Okay. Shows on each of these screws. I like this kind of work. Cool. Just putting them together. Yeah. Assembling. Mm -hmm. Trying to up the wing there. Stringing some wires through the wings. This is for lights. Yep. Okay. And Charles, you're gonna to need to work on your presentation tomorrow night to the EAA. So, <laughs> um, Wait, right. So you gotta give them an update. Uh, so first off, what is this airplane called? And all, you know all the specifics on this thing? All flange holes, that means both sides. Give it a little hold it up. So how does this? We've got the the micro switch in there with a the little plate, which is going to be in the uh, the the wind, and the wind is going to push that up at the right angle and set off the stool yeah. horn. Just like this on the Husky. Meh, meh. That's it. So remember, you can stall an airplane at any airspeed, but only one critical angle of attack. That critical angle of attack is the same every time, but your airspeed can vary wildly. So this is basically a critical angle of attack An indicator. AOA gauge, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see what the next thing is to do. There we go, Charles. That's what we're building. Very nice one. It's pretty cool to see it. You see all the pop rivets? Oh, wow. Oh, hang on. This has got, look, this is weird though. It's got tip tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tweety pie. So you built this already. Oh yeah. I think it might be the other side, isn't it? Yeah, it's the left wing. Oh, it's got a different type. There, it doesn't have the flap. <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay, so. Let's make sure this matches up with the picture there. So we've got a bit of uh, plastic that we've drilled out and cut to shape. We've got our washers on, the two pop rivets ready to go. I think that's good. Another step done. Well, once we've pop riveted. Let's do that now, Charles. Okay. All right. It's this one. Holding it on. Okay, so we have the stall warning indicator on the wing here. 
easy to move, not fully done up yet. Still need to get that connector on. Need to find that terminator there. And then we adjust using the, uh, we can move this around here to get it to the right angle. That's enough for today. Skin's all pre-coat up, ready for rivets. And this one is largely done. Pretty cool. Exactly, it's called a Unicom, so it just goes a little bit to everybody. So everybody knows where everybody is. So what are we building here, Juan? So this is the um, inspection panel on the bottom side of the left wing to get you access to your stall, stall warning, warning you switch. Just in the... Oh, so that warns you. Which it, James has right. built, so it's sure not to work. <laughs> <laughs> $30,000. Probably, probably nobody's going to give it to him. <laughs> probably have to actually pay for it. So the access panel is on there. So we're going to, we have to deburr this ac access panel bit here. Right. Good job, guys. Can I corrode anything? Look at that. That's a lot of metal there. That's a lot of beer cans. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So we just flipped the wing and now we're work on the leading edge skins there and then the top skins i think what's this do for you that's the stall okay so just pulled that leading edge skin there right over the ribs and click out all that in then i need to do this end one here and then over the top of those goes the central one Let's see if i can get that done before one gets back So is that one of the wing skins? Uh, this is, but it's been protected by these, this coating of blue plastic, which protects it, which protects it from oxidizing. Right, cool. So we've got to get that off, I think. Some of them, these, these are 10 years old, these panels. They stick on there a bit, don't they? Yep. Well, that looks pretty good. I think this one's been in the box. Good. Look at this amazing fresh aluminium. So nice. So, so you found out that it comes off easier if you heat it up with a heat gun, is that right? Yep. Heat up the metal. Cool. We've got parts laid in place here. It's a very good design as normal per vans. See those just, those little cutouts there and little tab pops over. You can't really build this wrong. Look in your toenails. <laughs> so what are you doing here, Juan? Deburn the edges, the long, oops, the long edges. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so reflective. I'm seeing the other end of this tool. That is so shiny with that. No oxidization yet. Yeah. And then we'll hit this with some 220 grit sandpaper on the flat edge and these edges here right. without scratching up the, okay. 
okay. the face of it. So this, okay. so when they stamp these things out, they leave pretty rough edges. And if you don't treat the edges, they'll potentially crack on you uh, at worst, or at, at best, it'll uh, cut you. Hear that tick, 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 tick? That's yes. from the um, stamping operation. So you kind of go until that stops? Well, you <laughs> might take a little too much. <laughs> okay. You're just kind of trying to knock them down a little bit. It looks like a pencil. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey, it's like me, that's good. <laughs> new day, new bike. Ring skin's going on now. Yeah, man, we're going It's 148 okay. rivets in. But it is, is an LSA airplane. Pretty good for Monday afternoon. Of the van's airplanes. Okay. All right, here we go. Middle, middle, middle span on the left wing. Lighten her up. Close her up. Put that down there, hold it down. You see what I'm doing with my hands? You out far enough? Oh, yeah. Okay. Give it one big squeeze. Make sure you're pressing down on the rivet. Open it up. Seat it again. Feel where it bites. Squeeze again. Oh, actually that wasn't very good. I didn't. Uh, so, but I think I can do more. So this is our wingtip handhold. And this is gonna go oh, yeah. like that. Look at that. Thank you, right Jenny. There. Yeah. We'll get that cleaned up and deburred. And there's there will be your whole wing tip. Wow. I cleaned that partially too. <laughs> Except for this one. Oh, look at that, all the way down. That's good and straight. Look at that. We rolling? So what do we have there, Juan? All right, so this is going to be the wing tip, the compound curve part of the wing tip that's gonna close out the wing mm. right in here like that. So there's your handhold, the other yeah, side of yeah. your handhold, that piece that we just showed you. And then we've gotta get, we're gonna make a block of wood and set the angle just right on all these flanges to make this compound curve that's gonna tuck in there and, and wow. rivet on up to here. So that's actually a, a bit of, Fairly reasonable metal work it goes into this, and like the rest of it has just kind of flown together. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to figure out, we'll have to do the angles, and the instructions tell you exactly what angle to put each of these flanges to okay. uh, to rivet it on up together. And then there'll be a angle piece in here, a fluted angle piece in here that this will rivet to to close that I see, that yes, up. yeah, yeah. Just like that. But here's what we gotta, here's what we gotta do, is we gotta, if we're gonna put that lighting kit in, we gotta cut this hole here, ah. for, and that's where the strobe light and nav light will go. Right. Ooh, that little yep. fiberglass piece right yep. there. So a bit of fabrication on this wing, wing tip. Cool. They didn't cut out a hole for the...